Newcastle. An Irish victory built on a dominant first half when they took their chances and Wales didn't. The reaction did arrive from Gatlin's team in the second period, but you can tell from his body language he's been made very well aware of the huge body of Rourke that is ahead of him in the weeks and months to come. The second coming of Gatlin hasn't got off to the best of starts. Ireland have won here for the first time in 10 years on a full-time score of 34 points to 10. Alan, Dave, thank you very much. So bonus point win for Ireland in Cardiff. Uh, bridging a 10-year gap has not been an easy place to go for Irish teams down the years. Their championship is very much up and running. The French lie in wait next week. All is possible. A game of two halves, so a try apiece in that second half. Yeah, um, Wales saving a little face, but only a little, I think, in that second half. It's got a minimum you'd expect from a team at home, the Six Nations. Um, it really got uh, destroyed in that opening stanza by, by Ireland and it was maybe unlikely that Ireland would, would continue on that or, or expected that they would. But I did think um, good that Ireland you know, only conceded the one try. And then I did think we saw a bit of a movement back to Ireland's the sort of game plan that they would have wanted, especially when uh, Ross Byrne came on. Sort of, I know they were down a number, but um, we started seeing that loop play come in that's been so effective for Ireland and the sort of type of play that Ireland will need to develop, uh, I think, to win this Six Nations. Now, a couple of other sort of areas that Ireland need to look at on that edge with uh, Mac Hansen. You know, it's a brilliant offloading, but he was probably beaten three times down that short side. Uh, but all in all, you know, a very, very um, positive performance from Ireland. They'd be delighted. Great way to kick off the Six Nations. Yes, to nitpick for a moment, that period at the start of the second half, for really the subsequent 20 minutes, Ireland were giving away a lot of penalties. There were some last-ditch moments. Caelan Doris, a brilliant turnover. There was uh, Justin Tipperick pass at wide, which, if it had stuck, maybe might have led to something. Certainly, Ireland were under the cosh. Uh, if we were to nitpick, what would you say about no, it? No, they were under the cosh. And listen, Wales were always going to have a purple patch of some sort. And they couldn't really capitalise too much on it. Mm. Now, you have to credit Ireland. Their defence was, was by and large, very good for, for, for the huge majority of the game. Shane is right, Mac Hansen a couple of times on, on the edges. But they were put under pressure. And I think it'd be fair to say that they stood up to the pressure. There were some unbelievable performances there. We, we spoke about Finlay Bealham's impact, you know, from losing uh, Tyg Furlong. He was very good. Conor Murray had a very strong game. Doris and Keenan, outstanding. Mm. Um, you know, so some of the question marks that we had pre-game, I think were all answered in, in a very strong fashion. OK. How would you frame it? Oh, well, I think if, you, if we switch to the other side, Wales were sh shockingly poor. And that's taking nothing away from the Irish performance. The game was over at the 25-minute mark. And you could see by Highland's performance second half, they believed it was over too. They definitely dropped in tempo, gave away a lot of penalties. But again, to their credit, they came back. The bench made a big impact. And at the end of that day, what does it mean? It means we've got another two props that we've got a bit of faith in. Ross Byrne, we got, you know, Ross did really well when he came on. Craig Casey, it was really good stuff to do that. Doris is stepping up into world-class standard, as is Keane. If they had given the man of the match to Doris, none of us would have argued with it. They were both equally superb. Mm. But it also tells you about the Irish organisation as a collective. They've gone into a high-pressure situation and said, was well, that the best you can do? Watch us. That is... A, that, is that first 25 minutes was a sensational performance. Yeah, it was a very... I said it at halftime. I thought it was a very mature performance. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Guys that felt very much in control yeah. of what they were doing. And even in the second half, they were under the pump a couple of times, but you always felt that if they needed to go to an extra gear, they would, and they did. Yeah. OK, yeah. OK. 